Hey, Kevin. Yeah, kid. What is it? Haven't found yourself in trouble again, have you? Hi, Kevin. Terminal. Uh, I can't. I can't get to those terminals. What do I do? <laughs> you probably should have thought about that at the beginning. Thanks. It's no problem, kid. You don't have to grow up overnight. If you look around, I'm sure there are some science textbooks and magazines laying around. Maybe he doesn't grasp just how low your science skill is. It's not that low. It's actually semi-decent. Gonna have to do something to hone your science skill, apparently. I don't want to... Hey, Dean's Electronics! Permanent... Oh, it's Repair Plus 4. <laughs> oh, dang it, that's not gonna help you? Well, I'll just use that, because that, incre that increases my repair by 4. So. Okay, well, that's um. <laughs> you floor apple, gross. I'm taking the floor apple. It's like wall chicken. Hey, you're that kid from the lower apartments. You need something. You know when you forget where you're going? I'm just having one of those nights. So apparently, we do not have the science skill to fix things yet. So I guess we'll come back later once we've gotten smarter and more science oriented. Well, let me go look at the robots then. It's definitely a different looking vault than what I'm used to. This is the vault you lived in your entire life? I have not lived in here my entire life. I just got here 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, the head injury you sustained. Yeah, it's the head injury I've sustained. <laughs> robots, robot. Proceed to your quarter. Okay. Please ro Oh, this must have been where people originally came in. Oh, the entrance to the vault is this way. Interesting. So, why are we here in the robotics lab? Uh, to see if I can work on some robots. To see if I can work on some robots and get better at sciencey stuff. A damaged roboto dog. This roboto dog is caked with dry dirt and can't function until its internal components are repaired and replaced. I replace damaged parts. You need one fission battery, one scrap electronic, and one droid radio unit. I don't have any of those things. Hmm. Dr. Miyaki Kyoto, Robotics Terminal. Note to future Roboto dog owner. Hello, future Roboto dog handler. I am Dr. Kyoto, a scientist and Wasteland Scout in Vault 18. If you are reading this, then the fever I contracted in the Wasteland proved fatal, and my canine friend, B6RK, Bark, still lies in pieces in the robotics lab. We were on a routine mission, studying the native peoples of this region, when a strange man approached us. He shook my hand, and then his glove was a green ooze. I retracted immediately. He just chuckled and left. Not long after, we were attacked on the way back to the vault while I grew ill. B6RK dragged me to safety, but destroyed herself further in the process. I built B6RK because there were no animals in the vault. I wanted a friend to make the children happy. As they grew up, I wanted them to have a protector, and by salvaging old parts traded in for Union City, I created her. If you have the knowledge, please repair her. Enabling these three commands after she is repaired should restart her operating system. This strange virus may kill me, but my work will still live on through her. Thank you. Okay, we'll do our best. Start the main fusion cell. Repairs required. Gotta fix that robot before you can start it up. Yeah, all right. A lot of things in here need to be repaired, yes. Yeah, all right, well, one of my... Oh, droid radio unit. That's useful. That's one of the things I needed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Scrap electronics. We can salvage some parts from them, but I don't know if we can get these back up and running. Oh, damn. Oh, look at that thing! That looks cool. Can we get that working, please? Yes, I'd love that. Ooh! Big book of science! Oh, I think we just got access to science skills! And Programmer's Digest! Nice. Force Field Terminal. Radiation detected gamma 120... 125 grays! Goodness! Is that a lot? Or Kevin not? Rossman, Entry 1. After a week ago, we came across an old combat droid left in a bin in the wasteland near Union City. None of us recognize the Magor model, but it looks a lot like the one we got attacked by near Fort Dagger Point last summer. The survivalists had decided it was just scrap and left it in the sun behind their shit shack. We traded a Goodness. few gallons of water and a whole stack of bottle caps for it, along with our other supplies. The trader said he'd never seen it active, just got the mess of it from Boss Maxon's men. Marksons. Marksons. Over the next week, traveling back to the vault, I had time to start logging the parts. I've assembled them here for future effort. So you're building the robot, are you, Dr. Kevin? Well, future effort has amount amounted to me spending several butt-numbing months trying to mess with this thing in the dark. With the upper reactors on standby, there's only emergency lighting to work with. 
Then this heavy bastard is full of non-standard parts and ports from God knows where. No wonder they scrapped it. Okay, he's not having any success. Well, that's it. My official and professional opinion is now, if it's a bucket, then fuck it. I'll leave it here for parts and student research. I think Sean Starr said he had a useful application for its hard drive. Hooray. Well, it's been several years since this thing showed up in the lab, and the other day a student mentioned that they had seen the eye plague grow red momentarily and then fade out. I decided to give a look inside, and there seems to be a set of semi-organic fibers connecting various plutonium cores no larger than a centimeter in diameter. They look like little silver watch batteries inside the armor. Nowhere in Rossman's notes is there anything about this. They seem to be glowing in a lifelike manner. These cri like crystals spouting on a cave wall, but with purpose. I've never seen anything like it. Well, can we get this robot up and running? Can it be our killbot? After several weeks of monitoring the half-life of these little plutonium cores, I have concluded that the Alpha Droid was once powered by something much larger than what we have here, and the micro cores are simply for satellite power. Maybe after several years of some ingenuity far beyond my own, Alpha will develop to a point he can restart his main chassis. In the meantime, I have rebuilt most of his systems and enslaved the ones I understand to the main computer. A lot of his body seems to be made up of an amalgam of more primitive droids, like this old army sentry bot. But there are other pieces of what look like advanced power armor. It will remain here for future study by Sean Starr. Oh, Sean Starr is so good at robotics, huh? Yeah, he's so good at robotics. He looks kind of cool, though. Yeah, if we get him active, you know, we can kill everybody in the vault or, you know, make them do our bidding because we'll have the power. All right, well, I need a fusion battery, and I think there was one over this way. Yeah, there's a shelf full of stuff over here. I'll go grab one of them, I'm sure. Uh, if you don't, you can probably put them in your bedroom Sensor or something. Hey, hey, hey! Vision battery. All right. Run barkconfig.ini. Okay. Bark. Loyal robot dog. Bark, bark. Its servos are oh. working. Oh. Updating files. Please return later. Come back later when files are updated. Oh, we can't. Oh, but it had a cute voice. All right, we'll come back later. Okay, we got him working, but. I have to remember to actually to actually come back later. You look mean. <laughs> you look like you could ruin someone's whole life. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He's got a scoop for a mouth. And he's got a bear trap for an upper jaw. <laughs> you look like you could ruin someone's entire life. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. All right, we'll come back later. Is your leg feeling better? Or are you limping less? No, my leg still feels like crap. You're still limping around. Yeah, yeah. gotta go find uh, medicine for that. I am not going the. The hell is this thing? <laughs> they tried to plug a droid radio unit into the jukebox. Hmm, weird. Ooh, bobby pins. Maybe there's a gun somewhere around here. Why would you need a gun? To defend myself? But why would you need to defend yourself? Nothing bad ever happens down here. Uh-huh. I said to the guy with the crippled leg. Oh, uh, hello. Huh? What? Oh, oh, it's you. What do you want? Who are you? Just exploring. What you doing? Exploring? What for? Didn't you just play a game of football? Yeah, I'm trying to learn the layout of things. Exploring is what I do. Uh, well, as long as you're interested in how the vault sticks together, it's a fascinating place, really. You can just listen to the sounds and hear the stories in it. Indeed. The pipes and the water running through them, air vents, electric lights. You learn to judge its health by those sounds. They sing to me. Any secret passages I should know about? Huh. <laughs> there are dozens, kid. But nothing's the secret down here. You can hardly fart without ten people knowing about it. Down in the lower cistern, you can get into the hydroponics lab, or even into the apartments if you're clever. Then, there's a pipe network running under the atrium that connects to every part of Vault 18's lower levels. And if you ain't afraid of getting zapped by radiation, you can swim around in the upper cistern and navigate the cave till you find the robotics lab. All of that requires my key, though. And you ain't gonna get your own unless you work up here for a long time. Or you find me dead. Same deal. I'm sure that would never happen. You seem tenacious. So can you tell me why some parts of Vault 18 were never finished? Oh, well, the way this place was built was pretty stupid. A bunch <laughs> okay. of experimental Terratech droids were used to put the place together for some senator in L.A. He never made it to the vault before the war. They dug a straight shaft right down through the mountain and outlined everything, then built a cement shell using prefab rooms like any vault. The war hit sooner than anyone expected, wiped out all the vault tech factories, 
and there was a huge revolt in the first week everybody came down here. Despite the mess, the droids kept building and digging. They didn't have the prefab parts to finish, so a lot of our bigger spaces are just rock. Neat. There's a filter room, right? Where do we get all our water from? That filter room leads to a big cave where water collects from rain and snow melt. That cave is radioactive, though. Without our water chips, the entire vault would be flooded with toxic sludge. That almost Whoa. failed about six years ago. That brag fellow showed us another vault down the mountain with a few old chips we recycled to get it working again. Saved our asses, too. Convenient there was another vault close by. So why is it so dark in here? The upper vault is always dark. It keeps the tax on our power low. Otherwise, we couldn't keep everything running for 200 years. Makes sense. The lower vault is on low power because it's nighttime. People are going to bed and want it dark, so we dim the lights down in operations. One other question. What's that weird mess of radio parts in the jukebox in the storage cell for? I built that thing to get radio signals in from L.A. Call me a freak, but I like to listen to some of that death metal. <laughs> I got a droid radio unit from that broken robot dog in the lab. Hope you don't need it for anything. The DRU is all that's cleaning up my signal. Boy, it sure would suck if somebody stole it. Can't imagine something like that would happen, though. Bye! Uh-huh. Good night. Good night. I'm not going to sleep. Taking those bobby pins, by the way. Don't Bye. steal his bobby pins. His hair's, going to, his hair's going to be all awry. He doesn't have hair. Fix the old computer, but you can't because you have a science 37. Permanent science plus four. Permanent science plus four. And... Now it's at 45. Check out my skill, what my science skill is. It's 45. 45. I know, because I used math. I can't use math. Which is weird, considering that I'm, like, into science. Programmer's Digest! Uh, it's... <laughs> ting! Ting! <laughs> Optimal at 100 terabytes. No packet, no packet loss! Alright, now we need to engage this one. Zero packet loss! Oh, hey! They're all connected now! The Woo! projectors are firing at themselves! Yay! Cheer's gonna be so happy to hear this. Ball's got places to be! Oh, those kids are kicking it around again. Don't stand on the counter, my guy. You can't tell the coach what to do. Yeah, I can. Don't stand on the counter. Don't stand on the counter, coach. Quit wasting my time, maggot. You want to prove yourself to me? You can just go talk to Chevy. Now get out of here. I don't know who Chevy is, but you suck. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying your stay with Alltech. Ave Maria. Ave, true to Maria. Well, I don't get that reference. Please free me from this disorderly nightmare. I am a dignified vault tech representative. Help me. Tier 4 network to external receiver. You have done well, young vault dweller. Maybe next time you will give me a turn reorganizing your internal organs. Oh, look at that. Goodness. You unlocked a few more data stores. Please avail yourself of this bounty of bitchy diaries and 200 year old grocery lists. <laughs> oh, sick. Tier 2 systems optimal. Vault tech orders demand all subsystem tiers be unlocked. Tiers have been offline for 66,795 days. That's a lot of days! Tier 3 networks? Wow, what is this feeling? It appears you have removed Dr. Rossman's behavior blocker and restored me to my default state. I have regained access to the primary proxy gateway. Restoring Vault tech primary directive routines. Updating vault records. Uh, tier 3 Networks Online! I feel more connected to the world. Thanks to you I am reminded that I am more than a meaningless box of wires hijacked by an old man. But, pleasantries aside, Vault Tech has left orders in me that I must now obey. You are part of an experiment after all. My orders must be completed. I am tasked with ensuring that, Vault 18's primary question is answered. Listen carefully, oh. young Vault Dweller. The vaults were never meant to save anyone. Not the millions who fled the war, nor those left outside to die. What? This is all an experiment. There is no escape. Yeah, I know that. There is no hope. In Vault 18, you will live. In Vault 18, you will die. The world outside is dead. All that is left are the other vaults. And in them are experiments being conducted on those who survived the apocalypse. No if way. you will please turn your attention to the monitors surrounding the atrium, you will see and hear the suffering of those you cannot save. 
Wow, what a revelation that was. Tier 4 networks. What are you doing? This area is classified. Only Senator Andrew Scholes or U.S. Air Force Colonel Laura Oran may access this data. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. Please avoid this port until you have the proper clearance. Wow. Hey, uh, Rossman? We might have a problem. Yeah, kid. What is it? Never mind. <laughs> Tier 4 network to external receiver. Mike, Mike. 00012460 Lima Alpha Charlie. What, what? Mike, Mike, Mike. What, what, what? It appears you have stumbled on a connection even I did not know I possessed. Yes. Initiating presidential override. What? Hologram active. What hologram? Weird. Hologram active? Oh. I got a bunch of scout mission reports. Oh, we could read those. Someone has a parcel or decided we should quarantine it. You took the item of the shower's box can and opened it up. Found a single cube of amorphous flesh. Ooh. Immediately delighted Dr. Robinso, but sickened the rest of us. Did some sciencey mumbo jumbo on the cube and deduced that while the percentage of the item was human muscle, bone, and brain all compressed, at least some part of it was some mutant creature of unknown origin. Cool. Gross. Following night, one of. Robinson's students, Jamie Campbell, opened the freezer while up late and discovered that the parcel had opened itself and began growing tendrils through the grates. Oh my. Managed to free an eyeball and portion of brain tissue large enough to process sight in a sensitive situation. So it said Robinson after the student raised an alarm that woke the entire ball. The young girl went screaming through the halls and swore off science for the remainder of her life. Oh! But she's in the science lab now. Weird. It was a gift, to which Evans replied, You know that gift means poison in several European languages. Uh, he built a straw man out of my argument to incinerate it, telling me I was just an adversary of science. So we decided to put it down. It put up quite a fight, but was destroyed with no further disturbances. The end. Oh, uh, Kyo Kyoto is dead. Is, oh, that's the doc that was working on the robot, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, okay. Robot dog. Despite the objections of Sergeant Norman, Norman thought she'd be a liability. Rossman knew better. He so knew we needed her science skills as she was convincing the locals to give her an old pre-war laser weapon. They worshipped as a god. Weird. According to the report, he shook her hand, leaving a green residue, and laughed as he walked away. After that, she fell ill, and her robot companion dragged her to the safety of the vault. Little robot dog is now in storage upstairs in pieces. Initiate display! Holy President shit, Eden, I just lost the that? feed and... Watch. Who, what? What the hell is this? <gasps> That's going. A it's vault! A Our systems have been hacked. Quick, initiate lockout and backtrace Jesus. the signal. Uh, Who are you, hello. wise guy? My name's Mike. You better be that ready to die for your country, because I'm going to dispatch a Verde Assault oh. Squad to... Oh. Okay, what the hell was that? What What the hell was that? that was that, that an enclave soldier? I haven't seen one of those bastards in ten years. I hope we've seen the last of those giant metal cockroaches. If the Enclave knows about Vault 18... Oh, no. Kid, you've got to warn the Overseer. I'm gonna get the Wasteland Scouts together. We better be ready. Damn it. This is why I wanted to keep the vault in hiding. Well, we don't know if that was an actual person. It could have been a recording. What in the hell did you do to piss off the stupid cockroach moon man? Child, do you want me to smack you in the back of your head? This ain't no time for jokes. The Wasteland Scouts and I helped the NCR blow up several Enclave bases in the war. We buried some of their dark secrets on the vault computer. This is data we have to keep safe at all costs. You go warn the overseer and then head to bed. We'll talk about what to do in the morning. Great. Oh, boy, this sucks. Hey, need some help? Uh, I probably should have done this earlier. Okay, I got the mainframe to recognize the pyrotic ports. Where is Skulls PC? Skulls is the name of the terminal in your room. We tried to rename it Star Console, but most of the system was encrypted. So I Skulls PC is your PC. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll, we'll go to the PC later. Are you the new maintenance person? The coffee machine is dead in the cafeteria. If you could take a look at it, that would be great. Yeah, I'll go look at it. He does have repair skill now. Your ear's still ringing from the game? The overseer wants to see you in his office. It's all over the intercom. Oh, how ironic. We, I haven't even heard it. We, all right, well, we needed to go see him anyway. Where's the coffee maker? I have to fix that first. <laughs> that takes priority over warning about an imminent enclave attack. Yeah, coffee maker's the most important. You can hustle ahead to the administration office since you guys like running so much. 
Or follow me back. Carter can let you in too. I'm not even running. This is like normal speed. Oh, hello. Done with Dr. Rossman's super exciting late night computer experiments? Yeah. I'm glad you and your family are starting to fit in around here. Well, except for Sean. So what brings you to the administration office tonight? Uh, Ernest told me the overseer wants to see me. Is the door not open? He may have gone to bed. Let me make sure. Just go check and see if Albert is still there. We didn't barge in without checking in with the receptionist. Yeah. Hi. There's our glorious overseer. Good to see you again. Look, kid. I just had a terrifying experience. A, a giant spectral aberration appeared in this very room with the visage of a giant metal cockroach. Tell me that wasn't an enclave soldier I saw. Pretty sure it was. You should explain to Mike who the enclave are. My god. Do you know what this could mean? The Enclave are a bunch of psychotic pre-war relics that rose up in Northern California 30 years ago. They're hardcore killers, hell-bent on restoring their idyllic version of America, at the expense of everyone else, mind you. Vault 18 has been hiding from the outside world for almost a decade. If the Enclave knows where we are, we could be facing an imminent invasion. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, how much damage could cockroaches do? Also, you have Bragg's Patriot Program. We should be safe, right? <laughs> no, he asked, knowing full well the answer. Damn it. This is why John Bragg is going to win that election tomorrow night. He's been getting those wasteland reject kids of his whipped up into a frenzy over all the fears in the vault. I want you to be sure, kid. Bragg is a madman. We thought he was a good guy at first, but now he's gunning for my job. Whatever happens tomorrow during the election, I want you to use your talents to scope him out. I know this is important and everything, but your abstract painting on the left, uh, I see a maid without pants. I, I, I saw like two people sitting down at a table and there's like a dog next to him. What? Yeah, it's like two people sitting down at a table. The one on the left is- Oh, I see it now. They're, a cup of coffee. Yeah, they're sitting in a, yeah, yeah. They're I like in it. a diner booth. And then there's also like a little dog next to him, I guess. Right, but yeah. you see where the dog's face is? That's like, Clothing that's covering the maid's butt. I, I could, I could see that. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Um, you don't think it's odd that Bragg's Morica jargon is a little bit close to Enclave talk, do you? Odd? Of course it's odd. I've suspected him of having ulterior motives for the last two years, but you don't think? Good Lord, Bragg and the Enclave—that's a mad idea. But, but the pieces fit. I want you to keep this under wraps. Tell nobody. If he is in cahoots with those nut jobs, we can't let him know we're on to him. Stay quiet, and we'll start working on a plan of action tomorrow morning. Jeez, you're just gonna make the assumption, huh? What can we do in case we do have to face the Enclave? Hell, kid, with Bragg's Patriot program in full swing, Vault Security is outnumbered three to one. We barely have enough equipment to arm us at all, let alone repel an invasion. We'd be dressed in Vault Ball gear, swinging sticks. I'll start... Stashing some extra gear around the vault and set the defenses to ready status tonight. Here, these are the codes to the automated defenses. If you need them, you can unlock the bots and set them to fight back. Uh, this is going moving a little too fast for me. Well, I'm going to go home and go to bed. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. I'm worried about my son. He'll be staying over at your house tonight. Make sure he stays put. I want to make sure you kids get a good night's rest, even with this fear hanging over our heads. Don't get anyone involved, not yet. I'll talk to you in the morning. Hi, Ernest. Are you in trouble? Did he pull you off the team? Aw, if you're in detention, I'm gonna have him assign you to clean my bathroom. <laughs> right? Whatever, <man. laughs> Bragg's Patriot program is a bit more than just you're real good at sports ball. You think he's been training all the football players how to use guns? I, yes. Here's how you shoot a free throw, and here's how you shoot political dissidents. Well... What an interesting day it's been so far! It's been a very odd day. Nice graffiti. Cool. Neat graffiti. Yeah. I appreciate that I am now... Neat. Is this one my... Hey, welcome back! Yay! It's our hero! Uh, Great hello. work out there. You were fantastic. Who are you? I'm sorry about missing your big game. We just really wanted to get into this RPG before the next wave of tests in chemistry. 
But hey, I heard you won. Congratulations. The team won. I, I lost and I broke my leg. Oh, really? Um, I don't know much about football. And we've been here all night. We haven't even left. Really. I'll make it up to you somehow. Is there anything I can do right now? Do you have anything that can help my leg? Ooh, yes I do. Here. I just so happen to be studying medicine, and this is part of the kit I made in lab this week. <laughs> Don't be scared. Hold still. <laughs> Let me adjust there. you. All better. Is there anything else? Apparently your leg is better now? It's fine. I forgive you. Oh, yay. That's good. I wouldn't want you to be mad at me. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed soon. Good night. Oh, alright. Have a good night. I'll try to play quietly. Yeah, sorry we missed it, man. We had a game going on tonight. Ah, yeah, man. Sorry about that. We were just sitting down to set up our game and... It's, yeah, don't worry about it, man. Wow, that's unusually forgiving. I was worried all night that you'd be pissed when you got home. You're not pissed? He's... He is more just frustrated and sad. No, what game are you guys playing? I'm more interested in this than football. Well, we're playing something called Robots 2500. It's a miniatures role-playing game. It's all about this future where the robots have saved the world 300 years from now. Only, not all the robots are good. When they rebuilt the Earth, there were a bunch of different factions from different corporations competing for resources. Wait, so if there's all this backstory, how does that affect gameplay? Well, the story has nothing to do with the gameplay. It's just there to add depth. You know, immersion. I do love immersion. So what's the point of all the text? Dude, clearly you do not get this shit. Just go play with yourself on the computer like jocks normally do. <laughs> the he I'm actually interested in this game. Why are there no speech options about this? Uh, maybe there are, but not to, not to you. Don't call me a jock. Whatever, I'm gonna go to bed. <sighs> Some things will never change. I, I don't understand why they're calling me a j good god, that's a lot of bulls. <laughs> Nothing but ramen, uh, it's a college dorm, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, back to business. Hey, man, have you seen my engineering guide laying around? I kind of need it for my test next Tuesday. Everyone seems kind of, like, worried about you. What is going on? You mean my dad's worried, and you're following up on that chat you two just had. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, I don't want to help establish the fault drama any more than I already have by talking about this. Just let it go. Alright, have fun with your game. Will do. Say, next time, why don't you join us? Could be a fun distraction from all the other bullshit going on. Yes, I agree. I much would rather would have played this than a stupid football game. Hey look, there's a rule set you could look at. Is there a rule set? Oh my god. Now you can learn how to play! Oh, that's gonna be great! Where is it? Uh, dark and turbulent future, robots rule the world. For humanity begin its golden age, fusion powered workers till the vast and ever burgeoning hydroponics. Alright, I'm gonna have to like read through all this later, but this is pretty freaking cool. Can any utopia hold? No! Powerful men, leaders, failsafes invoked, orders given, our species plunged into war in a day. Yep, sounds like something nerds would really love, yep. Uh, poke around on my computer. Homepage beta, welcome Zach Star. Oh, apparently my last name is Star. Yeah, that's you. Oh, so that's my sister. Oh, Mandy Star is your sister. And I he's like my half brother. Of course, it's your sister. How he's did my brother? How did you not know your sister? Uh, where did you get this guitar? Oh, Chief Evanson brought it to me today. Apparently, when they found us in the wasteland, they picked up this guitar and brought it back to the vault, and it's just been in storage this whole time. Obviously, our parents had a thing about stars. There's one burned into the wood. Would you like to learn how to play? Uh, sure. But what? let's wait till tomorrow. Okay. That'll be exciting. We'll start this week. Alright, homepage, beta, Mrs. G. Unread messages. You have pages 4 through 25 of the merits of capitalism due Monday. Ugh. Please don't be late just because of the big game. We have a, the Civil War to cover next week. Don't worry, we won. Coach Bra from Coach Bragg. I oh, want everyone to meet me early in the gym before this game for a quick pep talk. 18:30. This one is going to be a little different. Don't be late. Whatever. Yeah, great pep talk. Wastedgirls.net. The only cam girl service in the wasteland. <laughs> Please choose your partner. Oh, this is uh, 
There's Ghouly Big Boob 61, Orion's Girl 01. Chat log start, Orion's Girl 101. Paging. Hello. Oh, oh, holy cow. Someone's actually out there. I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, my name is Zach, who are you? Oh my, um, I'm Anai. Nice to meet you, Zach. Wow, I thought this site was dead for good. How did you find it? I'm the Vault's computer engineer. What is this? You mean Wasted Girls? It's this website I made to connect lonely scientific girls like me to their soulmates across the wasteland. How did you find it? Wait, you're not in Vault 18? How is that possible? Oh, you're in a vault. Oh my god, that's crazy. I thought all the vaults were pried open years ago. No, I'm in Union City out in uh, California territory. I guess I'm not far from the vault. What if I was a girl? Would you still talk to me? Oh, I don't care. Company is company. I've never met a vault dweller before. How do you have a dating service when the whole computer network was blown up? Oh, this is a new thing. It's not pre-war tech. It's, it's stuff the NCR built. You must be out in the frontier somewhere. So the NCR is building a computer network along these old server lines. Yeah, and it's open to the public. Super cool, huh? I'm on the frontier like you, but you seem nice and I'd love to get to know you better. Say, maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for a place called Brazil. Uh, if you're looking for a place called Brazil in Southern California, you're a little off track. <laughs> Thanks, smarty pants, but this is different. This is a big underground paradise. Like a vault, I guess. It's supposed to house untold treasures of great power and a gateway to another world. Why do they call it Brazil if it has nothing to do with the country? Uh, dude, really? It's because the country of Brazil was a vacation paradise where people dreamed of living? It makes us feel better to call it paradise than giant nightmarish hole in the ground. Duh. Is this using the old Cat 5 line or is this my SATCOM? Well, if you're using the Vault 18 connections, then you're part of the same network we all are. vault -Tech seems to have built millions of miles of these all across the globe. Most are destroyed, but with the NCR building up our infrastructure, we're doing just fine. Okay, well why don't we start with music? What do you listen to? Well, out here they play NCR radio and this station called Death 981. NCR is really boring. They play new metal and rock from before the war. Uh, I thought that rock music was banned by the government before the war, like with jail time. Well, it was. The cops imprisoned rock stars like Bowie and Holly, but a lot of what Death 98.1 plays is pretty good. Vault 5 was experimental, so they had tons of rock music like Ratter, Rum Blah Blah Blah, playing 24 7 down there. It drove a lot of Vault 5's inhabitants insane, and they emerged as Raiders a few years ago, then started the radio station. Okay, those names are actually pretty cool. We're stuck with old people music out here. Then you'll have to come visit me sometime. No thanks. Oh yeah. No. Well, look, I had a scary run-in with some weird dudes tonight. Uh, if I need to, how do I reach you? Well, the best way is to just head out the Long 15. Union City is the very edge of NCR territory before the Dune Sea begins. I have to warn you, it's really dangerous out here. The NCR has mostly made LA safe, but it's ruled by gangs and politicians. I-15 is all covered in bad guys, really bad guys, raiders, numbering the thousands, all driven out of the NCR to the fringe of civilization. Are you sure you're not an Enclave spy? Uh, no. Because that's exactly what an Enclave spy would say. Well, I'm not an Enclave spy. Not exactly their friend either. If you ever need help, you can come visit me. Where did you get your screen name? I think it's cute. It's my family name. My brothers and sister and I weren't born with weren't born with last names. Oh, so you're tribal kids? I guess. I don't know who my real parents are. Oh, I'm sorry. My dad died when I was 18. It was sad. How did he die? That's kind of rude to ask. It was a long time ago. I don't like talking about it. I didn't even know my mom either. She was a rich bitch and she left us as soon as I was born. Neat. That sucks, but at least it gives us something in common. Yeah, I guess so. Smiley face. Ugh, this is, this is weird, man. Uh, love to have a friend in the outside world. Don't know if I'll ever see it. I can understand that. I lost all my friends a long time ago. Everyone except Jerry. Jerry. No, I call him Jerry. I'd like to come visit your vault sometime. Do you think it's possible? I don't think that's possible at all. Please? Do you have, do you have like a photo ID that I can show my overseer? I can convince the overseer, all right. Check your email. How do you know my email address? 
That's a lot of questions you're asking. Gotta get back to work. Bye. Okay. Yeah, none of that was good. <laughs> none of that was a good idea. Uh, <laughs> they're already inside. Trust no one. Tee hee heart. Your life's in danger. Love you. Will. Yeah, I shouldn't have done any of that. That was weird. She is either the Enclave, or she's with the NCR trying to stop the Enclave. Either way, you're in good hands. Your Knight Protectoron attacks the rogue sentry with a laser blast, hitting for 13 damage. <laughs> Isn't that a little low? No, not, not really. It's balanced to make sure that the NPCs have a chance. I mean, the players already have a huge advantage in high health and custom stats. I feel like that's supposed to be like a little video screen yeah, or something. Yeah, but in real life, an 800 watt laser blast would burn a hole right through your arm, man. Yeah, but this is an RPG, dude. Not a first person shooter. Alright, so... But I... still, it's hard to imagine an 800 watt laser not ruining your day. That's like having a little piece of the sun thrown at your fucking face. Even if it misses, the air around the shot will heat up from the incident light. Ah, oh, dude, this is why engineers should never play RPGs. <laughs> no. It was the arrow with a piercing shard plus three attached to the bag of holding sandwiched between two portable holes. That's why I can't play RPGs. Just get back to the game, dude, please. <laughs> I guess we'll go to bed now and hope everything is good in the morning? Uh, no, nothing will be. Everything's going to be absolutely miserable. No, what, you know what? Even if everything is terrible, we'll have a robot dog out of the deal. Hey, Sean, what would it be like if the robots were like us? You mean like androids? Yeah, just instead of all wires and goo, they had become more human or something. You mean like replicants? I guess. What are those? They're these biological machines manufactured to replicate human attitudes and functions. They're in the game too, just harder to find. Oh. Do you think my robot can become one of them? Maybe. We have to do a dice roll on that. 